welcome welcome i hope you're having a wonderful day um this video is going to be my september tbr my august reading went a little bit off piste um i basically didn't read all of the books on my tbr and kind of sloshed in some others um so it ended up being a bit chaotic on the books i actually did get to read and i have bumped one that was in my august tbr to my september one because i've started it and really want to finish it um so i've kind of added that in but before we get there, I'm going to start with my usual way of starting, which is to go into my Terry Pratchett read for the month. This month will be Guards Guards by Terry Pratchett, which I think is the eighth, must be on the eighth one now of the Discord series, um, and is the first introduction to Commander Sam Vines, who is a fan favourite um, because he's awesome. In this book, the storyline basically consists of um, a plot to Otho, the patrician of um, Uncle Morbork. So there's a lot of things about desire for power and um, dragons, uh, but not dragons in the normal sense of things. Um, so yeah, again, as usual, we're looking forward to picking up this Discworld novel. The next book on my TBR is um, Abaddon's Gate by James S. A. Corey. This is the third book in the Expanse series, and I've been doing quite well in my reread of this series, thoroughly enjoying it so far. Essentially in this book they're coming out of the very beginnings of a potential war between the Belt, Mars and Earth, um, which has kind of started to brew in the first and second books. An alien artifact has emerged from Venus and has built a massive structure in space, a gate, and the Rosalante and her crew are part of a giant flotilla of ships are going to investigate, um, basically to see what it is, to scientifically explore it and assess whether it's a threat or an opportunity. So I am doing essentially a buddy read, I guess, uh, for this entire series at the moment. Um, and taking that's taking place over on Steve Talks Books channel. And the discussion for this book will be taking place on the 17th of September. I'll link the other two videos below as well because um, they have been really enjoyable and they're quite fun to watch. So for the book discussion of book one and book two, I'll link them in. The third book of my TBR this month is The Heron's Cry by Anne Cleves. I really adored the Shetland series and the first one, which I think was the Veery series by Anne Cleves. Um, this is the series with her new detective, I think it's called Matthew Venn. I actually wasn't too taken with the first one, but I trust her as a writer, so I've decided to pick up the second one in that series to see if I warm to the new detective anymore. This whole series and set is set in North Devon and in this book in particular a murder takes place of a local doctor in an artist commune. As I said I really enjoy Anglees as a writer so I'm hoping I will enjoy this one more than I did the first. So the fourth book in my TBR is Howling Dark. Now this is the one that has been uh, bumped from my August to my September TBR. I am about halfway through, or maybe a little under. I am loving it so far, so there's absolutely no way that I'm gonna put this down um, and switch out for something else. So this one's definitely getting bumped to September's TBR. Basically at the moment, uh, Adrian Marlowe is uh, trying to contact an alien race to try and stop an ongoing, very disastrous war between the two races. Cannot give enough praise for this series, highly recommend it. This is the second book, I think the fourth or the fifth book is out later this year. I do not think I'm going to be done with this series in time, but I look forward to that book when I get to it. The final book of my TBR is A Master of Gin by P. Jelly Cock. Um, this one, first of all, was a complete cover by, but also sounds really interesting. Apparently it's a detective story set in an alter alternative 1912 Cairo, um, which has intrigue, airships and magic. Um, so just sounds absolutely fascinating. The first line in the blurb of this book really drew me in, which is, Though Fatima is the youngest woman working for the Ministry of Alchemy, Enchantments and Supernatural Entities, She's certainly not a rookie. So when the members of a secret brotherhood are murdered, Agent Fatima is called onto the case. It just sounds really fun, uh, really interesting. Another thing I found was on the back of this was uh, bring this cover to life on the Google lens. And when you scan it, you get a little like discussion of the book or an overview of the book by the author. I don't know if I'm just really old, um, but to me that was really cool. I'll see if I can capture it uh, on, on camera to show you. But I was super <laughs> I was super impressed. Everyone else is probably like, yeah, no, that's been done before. Um, but I absolutely loved this anyway. It was another kind of interesting addition to why I wanted to read the book. So that was my September TBR. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting to these and it's a really nice selection of different types of books. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've read any of these. Uh, also what you're reading for September. I think that was it and I'll see you in the next video.